Every hit has a little more pop, and every movement is with purpose. There's no time to waste. Seminole County's preparing for two teams this week. You may be my son, but you can be fired. And they're doing it in a bit of an unfamiliar environment. I mean, these cots, these guys are they're from the Army. Since the storm hit, the Indians Fieldhouse has also been housing the National Guard, linemen, and others helping restore Donaldsonville post-Hurricane Michael. It hasn't distracted the Indians from the race for the playoffs. He's lining up, watching film, running through stuff. I mean, I mean, the coach, he's been calm. And he misses! On a Monday morning, Wes Williams is having to implement a game plan for two at practice, leading to moments like these. Tomorrow night now. I'm talking about Friday night. Couple of that with the fact that many players only recently got power back. Over a dozen haven't been able to show up since the storm, and all of them are spending their time away from the field cleaning up debris. It's almost impossible to be completely prepared, so what we've decided to do is just do what we've done all year. Hurricane Michael was unforgiving to their hometown. Just nothing looks the same, and it won't for a while. That's why the Indians are being unrelenting. They're fighting not just to make the playoffs, but to make an impact. Ain't a lot going on, ain't a lot, nobody smiling, just give them something good in the life. Pay up, no down, no negativity, just positive, positive thing, everything positive. And that's the message from Coach Williams to the Indians. And he feels his young men have gained plenty of perspective through a taxing time. The communities had to rely on their neighbor, and uh, there's been no division. Nobody was taking hot showers, you know what I mean? And nobody was eating well. And every Indian that lines up on the field is playing his heart out for a community that needs it now more than ever.